Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So just a quick video today, because uh, I've just got two little parcels I thought you might like to see. Uh, we'll have a look at this one first, and then we'll have a look at that one, because that's a little bit more to see and a little bit more interesting. Oh, it looks really dark over there. Matches in with the desk, it's camouflaged. Put a little bit of marbling on it and you'll never see it again. <laughs> So these are, oops, if I can get them out, some Xyron refills. Yay! And I know they are like Ken's teeth at the moment, or they have been. Um, yeah, the little Xyron runner that I use when I'm kitting up, if I can find it. So it's actually a crafter's item, a label maker. And basically, whatever you put into here gets a sticky backing on it and ends up as a sticker. So you can do your kitting up and everything. You've maybe seen quite a few people using them. I must admit, I use it all the time. I had uh, a few while I was crafting and I actually got rid of them when I was clearing out. Um, when you know I decided I wasn't going to be bulk making cards anymore. And uh, my granddaughter got one and I think my other friend got another one. Because I didn't really use them. And then I started diamond painting, so I had to buy one. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, the, the, the roll does last quite a while. They're just literally pull in and pull out. I won't take this one out, but they're just literally, you've got your little clips there, look, and they just literally clip in and clip out. And that's as hard as it gets for putting the replacements in. But there's been ones coming up on like Amazon and on eBay at Silly Money. I think because there were, Zyron did say they were discontinuing this one. Um... But yeah, they, for whatever reason, um, Crafters Companion, which is a, a big company here in the UK. And I believe you get um, Sarah Davis and Crafters Companion across on HNN, H HSN, uh, the home, home shopping network, is it? On uh, the shopping channels across in the US. Uh, I know she is worldwide now. I've known, well, I first met her, gosh, must have been about 2003, 2004. I went to a workshop when she first launched her scoreboard. Um, and I remember her first showing at uh, the NEC in Birmingham. I think that was either 2003 or 2004. She was there with her sister in one of the smallest booths so that you could get. Um, the NEC is like a big um, exhibition centre here in the UK. And at Christmas and in March, around about Easterish time, um, we have like a big craft fair where all of the craft companies used to go and exhibit. Um, some of the shopping channels go as well. And then in one of the other halls, they have all like the made craft stuff, things that have, people have bought from the crafty side and made into crafty stuff, as it were. And all the sewing and materials and everything as well. And it's like, a well, it always was a really, really big event. Um, it seems to have trailed off the last few years, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so she had the smallest little booth. And uh, yeah, I bought something from her then. That was when she first started bringing out crafting CDs where you could print out your own craft sheets and more do it to, uh, yourself at home and everything. Wow, that's a long time ago. I can't believe it's nearly 20 years ago. Oh, dear. Um, I was exhibiting, uh, oh gosh, what was I with? Print it at home. That was a to make your own um, 3D decoupage sheets in those days. Gosh. So I was there helping out with the launch of the new uh, version of that. We helped beta test the version of making your own um, 3D decoupage sheets on your computer screen and everything. Um, and then that went from strength to strength. Uh, sadly the owner is no longer with us uh, but yeah I was there for that and I say Sarah was there her first little booth and uh, yeah she's grown and grown and grown and Crafters Companion now is a multi-million pound company and of course Sarah Davis is on Dragon's Den as well to anybody that watches Dragon's Den it's like Shark Tank in the US but it's uh, called Dragon's Den here in the UK anyway so yeah I was just showing you the <laughs> Sarah on sticker makers refills so yeah, I mean, some of them have been like £10, £15 and then like paying £25 postage or something like that. And you think, yeah. Anyway, these at the moment, um, and it's thanks to a lady, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name, on the Add More Zest for Kids at 147 um, Facebook group. 
stated that Crafters Companion had them in stock. Um, so hopefully they are still there. And uh, yeah, four ninety nine each. And because postage is three ninety five, which seems to be about a rough sort of price now for a lot of companies. I noticed the shopping telly now. Uh, the crafting channels is charging three ninety five as well, so yeah, I thought, well, if I am paying three ninety five and like doubling the price nearly of one, so I've got three. Uh, so I think it was eighteen pounds. What did I pay? Eighteen pounds seventy seven or something like that for the three with the postage. So they've come. So if you are looking for some Zyron uh, refills, then yeah, pop over. It's crafterscompanion dot com. Um, and it's Zyron 150 this if you want to go looking for it. So hopefully if Crafters Companion are stocking them, then hopefully other companies will as well. Anyway, that's enough about those. <laughs> and then this is a dinky little doodah that I've got. Um, it was the hot pink that drew me to it. Uh, it's just from AliExpress. I think it cost me £7.20ish. Something like that with shipping and uh, taxes. And yeah, it's a drill pen in a little case with a bit of wax and all the different drill tips, all in metal. Oh, oh, and the, oh that's clever. They've put the uh, little like fasteners, the little bands. You put these round the base of your pen tips there. Like you can just see your grooves where they go in. And it just sort of gives a bit more resistance so that they don't slip in and out quite so much. So what have we got there? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is there? Yeah, nine. That's a funny number. Must have nine pen tips. Really, you need two on each pen. But anyway, I suppose one's enough. And we've got a single placer. We've got, oh, I thought we were supposed to. We've got a, a bent single placer. So an elbow single placer. We've got a three. I could have sworn this came with a, 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 a two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, obviously not. Uh, that one's a six. And that one's a nine. Yeah. To be fair, I did think that this came with a lot more. But anyway, I suppose for the price, what can I expect? Uh, and then we've got uh, a straightener as well. But they're in this lovely rose gold to go with my hot pink pen. And this is one of the metal pens, which are quite nice to hold. I do quite like these. Um, somebody kindly sent me one. I think it may have been Paula. I'm not quite sure. Um, and it was really nice to hold. And it's cool as well. It's cool to the touch. So if you have quite warm hands... Uh, then yeah, this is quite nice to hold. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> and oh, we've got an awful lot of wax. What have we got? Oh, and it's sadly, uh, it is the very opaque wax. To be honest, I don't use this wax very much. Um, but I do, from uh, reading and listening to other people on YouTube and Facebook and things, I do believe that the opaque sort of pink wax that's yeah quite a bit see-through isn't the best. So what have we got? We've got six pieces of the uh, wax there. It's all joined together. Six little squares. Okay. All right. And that was quite nice, actually, the way it's, it looks like a mobile phone. Look. <laughs> oh, maybe that's just me as well. My mind's uh, racing these days. Right. So uh, let's have a look at this pen okay see what size we are i think we're pretty standard on the pen size but we'll give it a measure oh look it's off hang on stand there look stay there so it is uh 12 centimeters which is four and three quarter inches so actually now i'm looking at it i'm not sure really that the rose gold particularly goes with the pink Ooh, I think that's a bit, is it just me? Is that a bit jarring for people? It's a bit jarring for me. I think these would look better with silver or even the rainbow ones that I've got. The rainbow ones are lovely. Yeah. So anyway, for £7, I don't mind. Um, I've got my pen tips there, so that's great. And yeah, they're nice. Look I wonder how long these last. If you've got any of these um, 
pen tip. <laughs> If you've got any of these pen uh, tips and things in the steel or the metal or whatever it is that they use, let me know, does the colour start to come off them? Um, you can see there on the bottom of that one, look, that colour is just starting to come away there. So I'm just wondering if over time, particularly putting sticky stuff in them, if the colour comes off. Oh, this has actually got the, can you see, that one's actually got the... Uh, little bands already on it oh how strange okay so is that why we've only got 10 then have some of them got them on oh they've all got them on oh so there's a spares oh right okay yeah they've got all got the little uh, rubber bands on so they are spares oh we like spares I suppose if you are switching them in and out quite a bit, then eventually they maybe will uh, perish a little bit. So, oh, look, it matches my tape measure as well. Oh, hot pink. <laughs> so we'll just put the singles in for now. Um, yeah, I quite like the elbow ones as well. They're quite good for picking up and uh, putting down and everything. Quite nice to hold as well. You've got your little grooves here. But say that they're just that little bit cooler to hold as well. I suppose you could put it in the fridge. <laughs> no, I better not do that. Hubby already thinks I'm absolutely crackers. So, yeah, that's my little buys today. Just thought you'd like to see what I've been buying yet again. Uh, yeah, I don't like to just browse through. But if I'm honest, I did think that this one came with more um drill tips a lot more different sizes um but anyway i'll i'll check the invoice i've probably ordered the wrong thing knowing me <laughs> nothing would surprise me <laughs> okay so anyway i'm off to uh, give millie moo a bath now because she's decided uh, we've got a pampas grass in the back garden and we've cut it down for winter and so now where the pampas grass used to hang over, there's a patch of mud between the fence and the pampas grass. And of all the places she can lay in the garden, we've got pavers, we've got grass, we've got paths. She goes and lays on the patch of mud. So she's uh, yeah bringing half the garden in every time she comes in. So yeah, she's having a bath. I'll put a little video of her if I can get her while she's having her bath, but yeah we'll see <laughs> okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me as i say dash over to crafters companion if you're needing some refills for your xyron uh, hopefully they've still got them because uh, i'm sure after putting it on a facebook page quite a lot of people uh, will have gone and got them but um if they've got them now then i'm sure they will be getting them in uh restocking them again as well so anyway, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. I'll put all the links and everything down below uh, in the description. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now. What you doing? Hey, a your bath dog? Hey, your bath dog? Hey, get a, get a bath dog dance. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Kay, you floor. Look at me, floor. Hey, are you dry? I think you must be. I think you must be. Come on then.